Good morning. Um, I'd like to share with you a little journal I put together um, to give people who don't really know what a junk journal is some ideas for how to use them. Um, if you're in the junk journal world, you probably hear all the time, what is a junk journal and how do you use it? So I just put together um, some different ideas for ways to use a junk journal and I'd like to show it to you now. So um, here's the front. It's, it's a small book. It's uh, just, uh, I think, I'm not sure how many pages all together, but each, each page or each couple of um, pages spread has uh, different ideas. So, um, so anyway, I've got uh, little tickets in the front so it can start out right away being um, uh, hands-on. And then this is just to let people know that it's a book about ideas and inspiration. So let's go on inside. So the first thing you can do is um, have it be a gratitude journal. So I wrote some things that I am genuinely grateful for, and I put that in the, in the pocket in the front. Next is a book of quotes. And I have a variety of um, forms, uh, a couple of few stamped images, um, and some written things uh, that I just like the, the um, quotes of. So that's idea number two. This is um, just kind of the obvious idea. As a, I use it as a scrapbook or um, smash book, just to gather things from your everyday life. Um, Back in the olden days when I was young, it used to be called scrapbooks. So, um, anyway, here's that's the next idea. Uh, another idea is to use them as art, uh, children's art. This is um, actually a picture that my grandson drew for us, and this is a great place to to keep them. You can fold things up pretty pretty um, easily in a junk journal. Next is just kind of a standard journal. I use mine, well I use one of mine, as just a daily um, journal, just to write my thoughts or my frustrations or what my day was like. Another possibility is lists. Um, favorite songs, favorite books, favorite movies. I've seen um, a number of um, bullet journals. Oh, that's another idea, bullet journals. I didn't even list that one. Um, but anyway, different different things you can use your um, junk journal for is just a variety of lists, anything that pops into your head. Um, you can use it as a glue book. Um, just cut out images. I personally like to cut things out of magazines while I'm watching TV or something. And you can just cut out images and paste them in here um, and use it as a glue book. And then here's some other ideas. Uh, art journal, address book, event planning, instructions, to-do lists, note-taking, word of the day. One of my favorite um, journal artists uh, does a word of the day on hers. It's really cool. Another thing is um, just write a story, your memories. Um, if you're older, like I am, just write stories about what things were like when you were young. Um, it's fun to do writing that the act of writing actually brings up more memories I've discovered and um, so it's fun for you and I think your children and grandchildren if you have any would be very grateful for that information and probably find it pretty interesting um, along those lines write about your day um, and on the back of that is make note of current events and this certainly is an eventful year Another thing is a travel journal. I actually have a um, quite a fat travel journal, one of the first ones I've made. In fact, I'll get it. Well, this is my one of the very first journals I made, and I took it when I went to Europe, and it is my souvenir from the trip. Pretty inexpensive, and I had a wonderful time using it and I still enjoy going back and looking through it and remembering all the things we did. So that's another thing is a travel journal and you can do tuck spots and things like that. Um, 
I have kind of a strange habit of collecting weird things like these little guys from fruit and vegetables. And you can assemble your odd um, collections in a junk journal. Some people use them as Bible study and prayer lists. Um, it's a good place to store your um, greeting cards. Sometimes you get wonderful greeting cards and don't want to throw them away, but what do you do with them? Well, you can put them in a, a junk journal. Maybe one that you have specially designed just for that. Um, use it as a space to doodle or sketch or practice fun borders or fancy writing. Um, there are a lot of journaling prompts and I took just a few from the internet just to show how many there are out there and they're fun to do they get you really thinking and in some cases they're really good for your mental health I find that writing is, is really helps me work through things um, another thing is a mind map or a brain dump um, this is one I did a long time ago. I was about to write about when I was a young person and I just, uh, um, a mind map was really useful in helping me um, recognize things. As I wrote one thing down, it, it sparked other memories. And um, so yeah, that's another idea. And then old family recipes. Remember those little things? Three by five cards? Um, you probably have some from from your family and this is a good place to um, to store them. And you can also do old pictures. Maybe you've got pictures in an album and you have some leftovers and you don't want to throw them away, but you um, don't know what to do with them. You can put them in, in, a, um, in a junk journal. So that is that. Just a simple, small uh, journal with some ideas for how to use a junk journal. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.